During late summer in Arizona, a land forged by the relentless sun, a seasonal spectacle unfolds with the arrival of humid air called the summer monsoon. Following that scorching summer, the moisture-laden air sweeping across the state gives rise to the birth of formidable thunderstorms that bring welcome relief to life below. In the atmospheric theater, an ancient dance unfolds, a mesmerizing ballet between the heavens and earth. This captivating spectacle reveals forces governing the smallest particles and cosmic grandeur, showcasing nature's choreography in an intricate interplay of energies across scales, echoing a profound harmony in the tapestry of our universe. Deep within the heart of the tempest, in the central cauldron of a thunderstorm, nature orchestrates a magnificent overture. Here, where the air ascends with fervent enthusiasm, temperatures plummet to a frosty negative 15 Fahrenheit, a crucible for the alchemy of thunderstorm electrification. In this crucible, a tapestry of supercooled cloud droplets, delicate ice crystals and tender hail emerges. The updraft a maestro of the storm elevates the cloud droplets and ice crystals towards the heavens, while the more substantial hail, a gravity-bound soloist, either descends or hovers suspended in the ascending air. A celestial ballet of precipitation begins. Collisions start the gentle crescendo in this atmospheric symphony. As ice crystals ascend, they rendezvous with hail, and in these collisions, a transformation occurs. The ice crystals adopt a positive charge, while the hail, in its denseness, acquires a negative charge, a celestial yin and yang. This charged dance unfolds as the updraft carries the positively charged ice crystals skyward crafting a positively charged zenith in the storm cloud known as the anvil. Simultaneously, the larger negatively charged hail takes its place in the lower echelons of the tempest, establishing a polarity that resonates through the thunderstorm. Yet, the dance is not confined to the heavens alone. The terrestrial realm, too, plays its part. The charged tapestry above influences the ground below. Normally grounded in a slight negative charge, the Earth finds itself swayed by the celestial energies directly overhead. As the negative charge intensifies within the storm cloud, the Earth, in response, undergoes a transformation, donning a positive charge beneath the storm's expansive canopy. The charge tension builds both above and below until the breaking point is reached and the heavens respond with a brilliant discharge. Behold, the celestial symphony of Arizona's summer storms with the luminous energy we know as lightning. <laughs> 